for that sweet, sweet wrestling tournament. All right. This is the shrine. Well, it looks kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I was expecting a statue of Soleil or something. I guess I can appreciate a good orb, though. Mm, yes, ponder the orb. I mean, hey, what if this orb is closer to Soleil's true form? Gods are weird. The way she appears on TV and stuff can just be for show. Wait, the gods appearing on TV? Maybe it's not the best idea to call the gods weird when we're trying to get help from one. Oh, sorry. So, how do I do this? Do I just start talking? Try touching the orb. Uh, um... Oh, great Soleil, goddess of the sun, and the giver of life? Do people call her that? Throw in something about how cool you think it is that she's made the sun. She'll be able to tell if you're not- if you're trying too hard to suck up. Um, please, hear our plea. Please lend us but a small fraction of your sun-related powers, so we may help our acquaintances Beth and Mary Ana not freeze to death. We'll be forever in your debt. Um, I am in? Well, that didn't work. Maybe she did something and we didn't notice. Uh, so there's a show off. We'd know. She's probably just busy. Well, I guess it was worth a shot. Ponder the orb. Gotta admit, it's a pretty nice orb. Ah. Hi, you enjoy your time at the shrine? Care to buy any officially licensed Soleil merch to remember your trip? Dude, we're locals, not tourists. You can drop the salesman shtick. Oh yeah, I thought I recognized you. Oh wait, yeah, you guys are the Novas. I think that's the first time anyone's remembered the name of our guild. You know, it's the middle of summer, aren't you hot in that big foam costume? Ironically, despite it being shaped like the sun, it's pretty cool in here. Anyway, if you're not interested in buying anything, you'll probably get back to being a walking billboard. This might seem like an odd question, but... Is any of this merchandise enchanted? I consider all of it quite enchanting myself. No, I mean, do any of them have magical effects? We're hoping to get some help from Soleil on our adventure, but she didn't hear our prayer. Oh yeah, totally. These keychains can call down beams of sunlight and stuff. Here, don't tell my boss. I'll give you guys one for free if it'll help on a quest. That's a that's a very effective keychain. Goddamn, I could I could use those uh, when I was in a more wintry climate and I had to scrape off like an inch of ice and be able to get out, be able to see out of my car on a snowy uh, snowy snowy winter evening. Wow, thank you so much. I'm sure this will help in our quest. Cool. Well, have a good one. Here goes nothing. By the power of Sunny D! Paylor Bless. Hydrate? Alright, alright. And stretch. Okay. Oh, you think I should would be good at stretching out? There, noodle, all long and wiggly. <sighs> May Paylor's light heal you, Sunny D. Most righteous, you're just starting to think no one would ever walk by and notice us in that flock of ice. Actually, this is our buddy Bill walked by earlier, but I think he was running late for his shift at the souvenir stand. It's cool. We understand the importance of punctuality. You two okay? What happened here? Did you get attacked by a snowbat or something? Oh yeah, we're fine. Thanks for the save, Melody. There was definitely no snowbat, though. I saw this mysterious cloaked figure lurking in the woods. There's two bards fighting for truth and justice. We knew that was no good. 
They tried talking to the cloaked figure, and then we got frozen. Admittedly, mistakes may have been made. Yeah, I think we might know who's responsible for this. I think we're definitely on the right track here. We'd better keep investigating. Right on. Well, thanks again for stalling us out. Oh, don't sweat it. We will sweat it, actually. We'll be sure to repay the favor someday. Adventure's code and all that. Anyway, see you around. Is this really where we put the... Oh, I, I thought it was just three posters. Huh. This is more than three posters. Now, I know in the cutscene um, between Acts 1 and 2, the TV intimated that there was, like, someone over here working for them. Bushy-tailed bandit. As what? What is that squirrel doing with a knife? Um... Excuse me? Who gave you that knife? Give me that knife. You might hurt yourself with it. <laughs> nope, we only stole 100 gold. No. I guess this is a reverse mugging. They threaten me and then I... And then I take their money. Oh, yeah. That bushy-tailed bandit got punted. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> that cutscene seemed to intimate that Jody... Maybe... God damn it. <laughs> My people! What are you doing?! You can't be going around with that kind of bling, all right? You can't be showing off secret serpent swag like this, okay? <laughs> wow, there are two cool snakes on screen. <laughs> oh, the hold on. Let me get my. Let me get. Hell yeah. Just two cool snakes. Yeah, the, the soda can uh, crown. I also, I, I like the fucking, the fucking eyes. He's kind of, he's kind of doing the, uh, hold on, I need to move the glasses down. Kind of doing the, uh, oh, fuck. Damn it, I can't. It closes my eye if I try and do it. Like, I can do it IRL, but I don't have the settings right to be able to show off, like, the, the eyebrow thing. But I'm, I'm doing the eyebrow thing. <laughs> Alright, um, can we steal the cool S? That's the question. We, got, we gotta try. And then we're gonna set the, uh, the flower gator. Now we're brutal. Damn, mugging our own kind. Life out here really is pretty brutal. I should get, I should, it's on my list of things to get, is one of those voice changer things. Something to, to add to, like, the brutal, uh, uh filter would be to, to make the, make my voice more, more gravelly. I can, I can intimate just kind of like, uh, more of a gravelly thing, but, uh, can't do it for extended periods of time. <laughs> um, what was I doing? I need to give mana to Claire. Ah, I need two star power to do that. Noted. I guess we'll just attack the beast. Allison. Um, what's your theme song? And then Claire can use attack boost on Allison. All right, put on your. Here's the ox, Allison. Hell yeah!
Now we got some jams. Oh, that... Shit. That didn't, that didn't give me another star power. Alright. I guess I'm mistaken on what gives me star power. All right, it resists. Let's try freezing this tank. Honestly, I should have gone with freeze first. Because, you know, they are cold-blooded. So that's probably his weakness. Yep, yep. The, uh, the name Cool Snake is a fake-out. It's not actually a, uh, cold, uh, a snake of the cold. Ooh, I see a person. Ah, mandatory fight, I see. Bring it on! Oh, it's another cool snake. Okay, we are going to boost Allison. We are going to attack the Bloom Beast. We'll burn down the Bloom Beast because it can heal. Hell yeah. Alright, so let's heal Claire. Allison can finish off the Bloom Beast and we will attack these house. Because it's free! And for the cool snake, we will dive bomb and frost. Everyone beat the shit out of the snake. Just stomp it, freeze it, mash it right back into that boot. Park Ranger Taylor. Wow, surprised anyone's over here today with all the monster activity. We're here because of that, actually. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, while you're here, feel free to knock some sense into some of these monsters. It'd be a big help. That's not something I would normally expect a park ranger to say. These monsters aren't just normal animals, Melody. They're invasive, magical entities. And they're terrorizing the normal fauna of the park. Roughing them up a bit should scare some of them off, though. Trust me, Taylor. I don't need any excuses to kick some monster butt. In particular, I'd be on the lookout for this big, mean bird who started squatting in the park a few months back. Folks call him the Trash King. Does the nickname come from him having a trashy personality, or...? No, I mean, he loves to steal garbage. But he'll also straight up attack tourists, adventurers, and the native wildlife if he's in the mood. So I guess he's also kind of a garbage dude, yes. It'd be a big help. You could deal with him. Well, I'm certainly dealing with it. <laughs> you head east from here into the mountains, you're bound to run into him. He'll be sure to keep an eye out for this trash can of yours, though. Oh, hey. Here's a map of the park for your quest log, just in case you need it. Alright. Digging this look? Uh, just with the, the glasses, or was it while it had the, uh, while the brutal filter was active? That is the, uh, brutal rigging. So, like, the way I've been sort of ranking my redeems on price and stuff is, like, if it's just activating a filter, they're usually pretty cheap. And then as it becomes more, as there's more stuff, 
or if it's more disruptive, I kind of just make them more expensive. <laughs> so there's a there's a couple filters I found. Usually, like the way I find them is I basically just fuck around with filters, and then I'm just like, oh, this looks cool, and then I I kind of just turn it into a redeem. <laughs> I do not have too much planning beyond that. Damn, could not steal the cool S. Alright, everyone. Beat up the cool snake. Steal its shoe! Wow, rude gator. What is this? Fucking Rain World? Leave Claire alone! God, it is it has been very hard to not burn through this game and Rain World. I am loving both of them so much. It is especially bad because Rain World is very much the kind of game that I like. Uh, it's there's like it reminds me a lot of Hollow Knight with the environmental storytelling. It makes me think of um, it has all the pixel art. It's just it's just a very beautiful game. It's a rewarding game to do well in. And as, as always with a lot of games I like to play on Fridays, uh, very ripe for speculation and interpretation. This must be the chest Pepper told us to look for. Found a knife. Oh, is this really what Pepper wanted us to get? Hmm. On the one hand, as adventurers, we're honor-bound to complete our missions to the best of our abilities. On the other hand, is it really a good idea to give an eight-year-old a knife? No, but Pepper already spends all day obsessing over dark magics and hanging out with her ex-supervillain grandpa. How does that make it any better? I'm saying she's already harmless with way scarier tools at her disposal. She'll probably just carve her initials into stuff. But if you still think it's too dangerous, we can always hand the knife over to her mom instead. Maybe Catherine will give us a reward. When you put it like that, would I rather keep a child out of trouble or be a snitch? It's a tough call. <laughs> Always go with what feels right to you and what's wonderful. What's wonderful in itself? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, if it's not fun to stream, stream. Found a flower crown? Oh, we're equipping the shit out of that. Alright. I feel like Claire is not really a flower crown person. Like they got that they got that sick witch hat. So we gotta go either Allison or Melody. I feel like Melody would be the kind of person to make a flower crown for Allison more than more than the other way around. So we're gonna give her a flower crown. Even though the stats don't work. Screw the stats! We're here for cuteness. Give me that chest. Ooh. Hmm. Actually, good amount of damage. Let's hit the bandit. We will hit the stab the snow bat, and then burn the snow bat, and that should kill it, I think. Ooh, a critical hit! Hell yeah! Nice poison. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's low kick it, and then we'll just freeze the uh, snake. Damn, we froze that snake. I still meet you. <laughs> Man, stats really go up on level up. Those are, those are some decently, well, 
I guess maybe I was just looking at health, and that makes sense for uh, Allison since she's kind of a frontline fighter. Man, it's amazing I'm getting all these items, which I'm gonna go out of my way to not use because I'm a hoarder like that. Um, excuse me, do you have a second? I don't. Okay, sorry to bother you. Let's just be on our way. Whoa there, Mel. Let's give that another shot. Hi, I don't believe we've met. I'm Allison, and this is Melody and Claire. And you are... busy. But my name's Noel. We're just wondering if you've seen our friend Jody pass through here recently. She's a tiger? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. Um, well, I suppose she's orange with purple stripes, and she looks muscular enough to punch a boulder to pieces. Jody looks like she could rip out, rip a tree out of the ground with her bare hands, but also like she could give you a really nice hug. I'm getting mixed messages here. Is she nice, or is she running around destroying the countryside? <laughs> no, 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 no. Jody's nice. She wouldn't really do that. It's just important you get a clear mental image of how shredded she is. Okay, if you're done with all the colorful descriptors, then yes, I'm pretty sure I did see her pass through here yesterday afternoon. Oh, that's great. Which way was she headed? You head back down the fire lookout tower where the park ranger hangs out. She went, she headed east from there, into the mountains, I believe. Also, if it's important, it looked like she was tailing someone. Maybe another beast? I didn't get a good look. So I think Jody was following someone, huh? Interesting. Maybe Javis, or one of his goons? That may complicate things a bit. Well, thank you so much for your help, Noel. Sure. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and save. After every little bit and go the opposite direction we're supposed to. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through, ladies. Due to the increased monster activity, this bridge into the valley is hereby under protection of the captain of the Green Ridge Paladin Brigade. And that would be me. We know, province. Hey, I know my rights. We should still be allowed through, even if it's dangerous. I'm aware, but I'm making a personal call and saying you three in particular should stay out of the valley. Green Ridge has enough problems right now without you starting a forest fire or getting eaten by monsters, Higsby. We, uh, we're also kind of looking for Jody. I already questioned some of the locals under Miss Vincent's orders. Nobody saw her head this way. I have no idea why she entrusted this important mission to you, Higsby. I would suggest you not waste any more time here. Hey, Twisty Fern, welcome on by. I hope you are having a fantastical day. She is a she is a bit uh twitty twitty. Eepy? Well, don't let me keep you up. I appreciate you stopping by regardless, but EEP is very important. Oh, I went west and said, oh my god, I am so bad. I am so bad with directions. Blood and ashes. Like, it's not a joke that I get lost even with, uh, 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 Google Maps. Oh, I should know. Hmm. I need to restore MP to Claire. Wait, why is there a second one? Wait, why didn't Melody get any star power? Do I need to use mana for her to get star power? Yeah, it's a it's a squirrel with a knife. Um, hmm. They just, they just keep appearing. Ooh, 
Who gave this sassy little squirrel a knife? It's gonna hurt someone. Mostly me! Alright, Paladin's Gift. And we attack. And then we burn. Hell yeah. Squirrel status. Flum bang. Starfruit. Oh, fill someone's star power. Hmm, interesting. Harpy Monk. Nice. Wait, why does she only have one shin guard? Huh. Alright, let's start with Frost. Alright. Feather arrows. Wait, you're a monk! You're not supposed to shoot arrows. That's cheating! You're supposed to be a melee combatant. Well, let's heal up Claire, and then we'll do this. I need to see if I can give mana to myself, actually. We can do Paladin's Gift on Melody. Hell yeah! Alright. We good. Like a flamingo, they only use one leg, so they need one guard. Sure, but the, the leg she had up to attack with was the one without a uh, shin guard. That seemed kind of precarious. Ooh, 400 gold. Money, 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 money. Offense and defense leg. So what are you saying, the, the leg she has up is the one she would use for defense, or the one she would use for offense? It's like, my, my, my knowledge of... Like, I knew, um... What was it? Not Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It was... Uh, was it Muay Thai? I, I did a little little bit of gym just for exercise, and like I know there's like the concept of like you you can cut a kick sort of by using your shin and like deflecting it at the right angle kind of thing, but I'm not sure if like you would be doing that with the one you have a guard on. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to Claire's health. Shit. Claire, no! Get up! Get up, Claire! It's okay. She got better. We'll just throw a little bit of first aid, a little bit of first aid. A little bit of first aid. I do like that when someone gets knocked out in combat and then just... Oh, I'm back up. Back up to 1 HP. It's fine. This is fine. You look ominous. Looks like this path's blocked. Eh, we don't really have any business in the valley at the moment anyway. Cause like, hmm, that's a... That's a suspiciously distinct texture on this, uh, path. Ooh. Damn, we need to, we need to burn down some of these enemies. Alright. Buff Allison. Um... I'm gonna kill these... Bushy-tailed bandits. Can't quite one-cycle them. Holy shit. Uh, let's heal Allison, because what the fuck? I do want to try and steal from the monk to see if we 
We've only been getting money when stealing from enemies. I'm kind of, I don't, I don't know if, like, it's possible for them to have items, but I gotta, I gotta check. Nope, there's 50 gold from the monk. So obviously it's not a vow of poverty, monk. Is it morally okay to steal from a monk? I mean, this is obviously not like some, you know, pacifistic monk. Like, th this harpy monk is here for combat, and she is ready to fuck people up. Case in point, it's me. I'm getting fucked up. That's okay. Now we can now we can kick her in the face and slap her with an ice cube. Man, they they are really taking chunks out of me. Uh, let's pack this. Hell yeah! What I really need is an AOE heal. That's what I need Melody to get to. How dare you know me, Fern? You're so mean to me. Five potions. Oh boy. Shit, it's another triple threat. Uh, it does. It's just that it also throws a long gnome at me. <laughs> I, I also I like that sound. It might have been a little bit too soft with uh, me talking and the game happening at the same time. Did you hear it that time? Yeah. <laughs> There's also another... Uh, gnome related meme which is why uh gnome power exists all right allison uh that one's gonna die to scorch so i'm actually just gonna go to the other bushy tailed bandit Yes, yes, that. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making that work. <laughs> it also looks like hell in the background uh, uh, in uh, OBS. Because it is like 12 OBS scenes all nested together in a group and then because I am incapable of making things sensible um, it randomizes the order of the, uh, the where the rainbow ones appear so they can be different every time it happens <laughs> not totally random um, when I get around to cracking, like, a reliable method of making random locations on OBS, that'll be one- Damn. Yeeting me into the void like that. Largely unnecessary and inconvenient. That- that's- that's me! That's- that's my name whenever I make fucking redeems. It's like- does it need to be this complicated? No. Did I make it this complicated? Y yes. Like, that's, uh... The big issue that I fix with all my redeems is, um... So in the stream Apocalypse, Because I was going for 24 hours. And, uh... My camera that I use for VTube Studio would not last 24 hours. Um... I finally got to debut the PNG Ray made for me, um, which honestly I I'd, I'd been wanting to show off, but I wanted an excuse, like I wanted to ha I wanted to, I wanted to really show it off and have an excuse to do so. 
and I wanted to rig it so my redeems also worked with it. And so I built a... Oh, a door? Does it actually go anywhere? Maybe it leads to where I think it does. Then I should be able to open it, actually. It's kind of a restricted area, though, so, uh... Well, don't tell anyone I let you do in here. And by anyone, I mean Faith. This fast travel? Ooh, we're color coded. Where are we? Welcome to the astral plane, you guys. You've been to the astral plane before, Claire? No, you're saying it wrong. It's the astral plane. Sorry, you've been to the astral plane. I'm not letting you two say astral plane again until you explain where we are in a way that a magical novice like myself will understand. I read a little bit about it while I was studying paladin spells, actually. It's a higher level of reality that's made entirely of magical energy. It's always there, intersecting with the material plane, and we normally can't see it. Magic users have been coming here for ages, although most of it is still unexplored. That's a bit of a simplification, but yeah, basically. Okay, and what exactly are we going to find here? I have no idea. Let's look around. That's no problem, Fern. Thanks for stopping on by. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. There's somebody here, but he's asleep? Oh yeah, that guy. He's always here. I've heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what his deal is, but people call him the Dream Knight. Is he okay? Do we help him or something? I don't know. He's still breathing, so he's probably okay. Let's just leave him be for now. But, um, when I was making things work with PNGs, uh, I made it so, like, the redeems will check if I have the VTube Studio act. Basically, I have the thing whether I'm on VTube Studio, Live 2D model, or I'm on PNG model. And so it knows where to toggle the filter. And uh, putting that in broke a lot of things. And I finally finished debugging it today. So uh, happy for things to work again. E e even with the minor hiccup that for some reason the first head pat wouldn't activate. Don't know what's up with that. Hey, wait a second. There's something in the well. Found a critter. Oh, poor thing. We better find a place for this little guy to stay. Did we just get a Benoi? A lost critter. We just got a Benoi. Ah, I'll take you for the head pass, Waddle. I wonder if it was more a specific application, because I know if I have OBS selected... Aw, oh, thank you for the boops. Um, I know if I have OBS selected, it likes to eat any of my hotkeys that I try to send. Blech. Warp to Green Bridge. Mm, no. We'll hold on to the critter for now. Alright, that gate looks obvious, so let's not go that way. Or oh, wait. Maybe it's the way we can't go right now. Huh, this gate has no lock, but it's still sealed shut. It's probably enchanted. That, or it's actually just welded shut. And we're being pranked. Wow, trying to open strangers' gates now, huh, Mel? I didn't even realize you were turning into such a rebel. I mean, aren't you curious about what's behind this? It's not like I see a house back there. I'm sure we'll find out eventually if it has any relevance to us. Okay, but OBS active, it does fancy things, just breaks everything. Yeah. I know one of the things I did is... Oh, is this the Trash King? I was really hoping the Trash King would be some kind of flying uh, possum. Back to go to sleep, Miss Snow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I think the plushie was covering up the little prey hands thing. <laughs> you have a fantastic rest of your night, Miss Nil. And I hope you have a great week. Thanks for stopping on by. That looks tough. Let's try talking to him. Maybe we can get him to leave peacefully. Um, hello there. Are you the trash king we've heard so much about? Scream! Oh, sorry, sir. We didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, hey, no need to shout, man. I just want to say hello. Scream! Guys, I think this is just a regular bird that now wants to kick our asses. Scream! Trash King, Trash Bag A, Trash Bag B. Hmm. I feel like I should take out the trash bags first. I feel like if I use Scorch on the trash bags, um... It's not gonna be good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, let's do some kissing to buff up our characters. Oh, did I use first aid? I'm gonna use kiss. Well, now I feel dumb. Oh, okay. Yeah. You gotta take out those trash bags. Kiss Allison. Back trash bag A. Burn trash bag B. Ow. Damn it, I need some AoE fucking heals. Alright, so let's heal Claire. Allison can finish off the trash bag. We will attack boost Allison. Let's see what tricks. Oh, we've gotten rid of the trap. Now that we've taken out the trash. Let's chomp the trash king. Uh, we'll go for a high kick and a frost. Ooh, resisted the high kick. Alright. I see, I see. Um, let's get Paladin's gift to Claire. Allison. Let's try a right jab. See if that does anything different. Scorch. Ooh. Right jab is where it is. Ooh. Summon more trash. Don't like that. Also, Claire, I need you to not die, please. Um, uh, yeah, let's go invulnerable for one turn. Just in place. <laughs> I love the deuces fades away. <laughs> Uh-oh, charging up a powerful spell. Um. I feel like I need to heal, and then she can just blink. Ah! God damn it! Fucking baited, <laughs> baited me to waste a turn. I see how it is. Clever bird. Let's hit him with the old. Berserker Barrage! Oh wait, hold on, I need to, uh, I need to reapply my buffs. I need more smooching. And then... burning up the trash bag. Oof. Claire, I need you to have more health. Please. Please, Claire. Ah, shit. Poison! Um, that does corruption. Um, I don't know, I feel like we might be able to burn, burn through it. What does this do? 
I don't think I've used that ability yet. Actually, hold on. We have to try steal- always try stealing from the boss. Always gotta try stealing from the boss. Damn it, just money. One of these days, I'll get an item. Maybe I won't. <laughs> Alright, that did not do a lot of damage. I am a fool. Almost, almost, or I forget, let me uh, boost Melody's mana. Hit it with another right jab and another swoop. and this should be it. Not too bad, pretty, pretty easy boss fight. Didn't even break a sweat. You can never have too much MP. Uh, HP, you need HP, Claire. You have plenty of MP, we can supply you with MP. We need you to get... We need you to get more HP. And don't come back! Yeah, that'll teach that stupid bird to terrorize the wildlife on our island. Well, that's one less threat for the Sapphire Islands to deal with. That only leaves a mysterious video wizard who can manipulate space and time. Point taken. Come on, Mel. The adventure continues! Right. Ooh, music's getting softer. Are you about to hit a cutscene? A wallet? Check out how much cash is in it so we can decide whether or not to return it. Claire? I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Well, okay, if it somehow belongs to someone mega rich, finders keepers. Fair. Oh my gosh. This is actually Jody's wallet. Even better. We're definitely hot on our trail. Here, if Jody's nearby, I know how to get her attention. Oh, woe is me! If only there was a buff tiger girl here to tell me I'm valid! Yep, guess we gotta keep looking. <laughs> only HP that matters is the last one. Ah, yes, the uh, the Magic the Gathering uh, philosophy of health pools. <laughs> And in some cases, even uh, you, 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 even one HP isn't enough to uh, to uh, end your plan. What's this big disc on the ground? Looks like an old warp pad to me. If we stand on it, it should transport us somewhere. And considering this path is otherwise a dead end, I imagine Jody must have already taken this thing wherever it leads. Well, now I'm just curious where this thing might take us. Wherever it takes us, we better be ready for anything. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out where it goes. Mel, when you're ready, let's go. Alright, this is good timing.